Hi everybody. I'm excited to continue telling you the story of Amy Carmichael, missionary to India. Now, if you remember, there were some exciting things going on in our last lesson. Prina had just asked Jesus to come into her life and forgive her, and Amy began teaching her what the Bible said about how Jesus will never leave her and he will always care for her. But then some women from the temple showed up at Amy's house and they were trying to take Prina with them. But Prina stood up to them on the front step of Amy's house and said that she wouldn't go. Do you remember? Well, what do you think happened? Do you think the women from the temple took Prina with them? If you said no, you're right. They didn't take Prina. God protected her and she got to be able to continue to live with Amy and learn more about God and grow in her relationship with Jesus. She was so very thankful. Now, as Prina continued to get settled at Amy's house, Amy thought back to a time when she was a young girl living in Ireland with her family. It was a Sunday morning and it was raining outside. And as they left the church building, she and her family crossed paths with an elderly woman. This lady was dressed in rags and she was carrying a bag that was too heavy for her and she was struggling with it. Now all of the other people who left the church building were walking by this elderly woman and they weren't doing anything to help her at all. Instead, they were saying very mean things about her. They were saying things like, did you see what she has on? Oh, those clothes are just rags and she looks horrible. And other people were saying things like, she's carrying a bag and working instead of going to church on Sunday. Can you believe it? How horrible. Well, Amy knew inside that this was wrong. She was being guided by the Holy Spirit and what she had learned from the Bible. God wanted her to go help this elderly lady and show her love instead of talking bad about her. Amy decided not to follow the crowd and what they were doing and how they were talking. She decided that she would please God first and go help this elderly lady. She took her bag from her and helped her home. Amy learned at this point in her life how important it is to please God first, to do things that make him happy and to obey him because those are the things that he's going to use to show God's love to other people and help change their lives so that they can know Jesus. Have you ever been faced with a decision to either do what your friends want you to do that might be wrong or do something that pleases God and makes him happy. For example, maybe there's a television show that your friends watch and they talk about it a lot. And then they ask you if you watch the same television show and you know that your parents told you you shouldn't do it. You also know that it would please God not to watch the show because you would be obeying your parents and there are some bad things in that television show that you know you shouldn't watch. What did you decide? Did you decide to go ahead and watch the TV show so that you'd be pleasing your friends? Or did you choose to obey your parents, do what they ask, not watch the TV show, and please God? Amy chose that day to help the elderly woman and please God. And she learned that habit as a young girl to choose God and what pleases him first. There are some really scary things coming up in Amy's life that she needed to choose whether she would please people around her or if she would please God. Let's find out in our next lesson what Amy chooses to do. I hope that you're choosing to please God. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.